Lord, I come, I confess, bowing here, I find my rest. Without you, I fall apart. You're the one that guides my heart. Hello everyone, welcome to the English Devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence asking forgiveness of my sins, so my prayer can enter your holy throne. Lord, I thank you and I praise you for this beautiful day that you have given us, this day where your companionship does not falter, it does not waver, this day where your mercy is new this morning. Father, I thank you for your love, your endless grace, your mercy, your kindness, your compassion towards us. Father, I thank you for your word that we can live by, that we can learn, and that can direct and guide our steps and our path. Father, may we take to heart this devotional today. May we learn from it and apply it to our lives so that we can live in holiness, so we can strive to live in sanctification, Lord, working out our own salvation. These things I ask in your Son's name. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Lord, By Your Word. It was written by Migdalia Ayala and taken from the book, Mesa de Fe, page 14. Our biblical base comes from Psalms chapter 119, verses 105 through 112. So says the word of God. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and confirmed that I will keep your righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, I pray, the free will offerings of my mouth. O Lord, and teach me your judgments. My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I have not strayed from your precepts. Your testimonies I have taken as a heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever, to the very end. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. By your blessed word, Lord, I have been able to change my life and to be different from all the people who live without God, because the Bible has taught me the most beautiful thing that a human can know and that's the plan of salvation by your word lord we know the things that please you by your word my eyes were filled with light gone is the darkness that covered me and did not let me see the path of good with your word my soul is fed my spirit receives the bread of life and the strength to resist the onslaught of life your word instructs me reproves me perfects me and confirms me through the bible i know where i came from and where i am going when i feel confused troubled tormented disappointed and secure i go to the source the bible and there i find timely help its precious pages have the best teaching that the soul needs and i feel that you yourself o oh god are the one who speaks to me and strengthens me through your word. Amen. 
my brothers and sisters, the word of God is really a lamp to our feet. It guides us, it directs us, it encourages us, it teaches us, it fills us by the word of God that is God breathed, inspired by the Holy Spirit. We can learn how to live in holiness. We can work out our own salvation. We can strive to live in sanctification by his word. We must not neglect the reading and studying and scrutinizing of the word of God. We must be in his word daily. If we want to get to know God, we must be in his word. And my brothers and my sisters, we cannot trust someone we don't know. We can't know God without reading his word. So if we're not reading his word, we can't learn to trust him. The two go hand in hand. We hear all the time, trust in the Lord, trust him for this, trust him for that. He will lead you. He will guide you. But the way he does that is through the word of God, through the Bible. May we always look to the word to direct our path, to guide us, and may we live by his word. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. Finding myself at a loss for words And the funny thing is, it's okay The last thing I need is to be heard But to hear what you would say Amen. What a beautiful song. Word of God speak. Send down like rain, Lord. Guide us with the word that you spoke to us and you put in written form. 
And now we invite you to check out our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading as we journey through the book of Genesis. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen.